So it's about, I think it's about one o'clock in the afternoon when I did this a couple of days ago. But I'm putting my refrigerator starter, about two ounces, into a wide mouth ball jar. And I like this jar because it's got the measurements on the side there so I can just kind of watch, make sure I get the right amount of starter. And to that cold starter, I'm going to add two ounces or a quarter cup of filtered room temperature water and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. Give that a good mix. And my plan is to make bread, to make a sourdough loaf of bread sometime the next day. It all depends on how well my starter bubbles and gets real activated. So I'll keep an eye on it, but it is cold and got the wood burning stove going. So that's gonna be where I'm gonna set this to mature. And I noticed that it's pretty runny, so I'm gonna go ahead and add another quarter cup of all-purpose flour and uh, get it to a better consistency. I like it to be on the thicker side so I'll go ahead and stir that up really good and get most of the lumps out of my flour. Give it a good stir there. And since it's just my husband and myself, I usually make about one loaf a week of sourdough bread and uh, so I'm just making sure that this is a much better consistency now if it was too thick I'd add a little bit more water and if it was too runny I'd add a little bit more flour nothing too precise so I'll go ahead and scrape off the excess from my spatula and then really clean off the jar from the inside so I can keep a good eye on how the starter gets more activated and rises up. So I'll make my bread when the starter is halfway or actually double from where I'm marking it here. So mark it with a sharpie and then I'll put the lid on just semi tight. Just loose. There we go. So I am going to take my starter over here to the wood burning cook stove and set it up here where it will be nice and warm and it can get activated. Six hours later, ready to go.